Assalamu alaikum and Zoyan Fatlo from Muslim Girl Power and today we have a special guest, Numan Sheikh, an actuary with Aeon Consulting. Fatma and I have always wondered what kind of career someone with strong mathematical interest can pursue and today we get to talk about that. Numan Sheikh is a vice president and a health actuary with Aeon. He completed his undergrad at the University of Toronto and is a credentialed actuary and currently enrolled in graduate work at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. He also sits on the board of the directors at Hubbard, a healthcare clinic in Chicago. So help me welcome Naman Sheikh. Thank you to both of you. So just to start off with a couple general questions about actuary, what is actuary and what does it do like overall? So that's a, that's a good question. So in the most general terms, an actuary is somebody who evaluates uh, the likelihood of future events. So, as you can imagine, this entails a lot of statistical, mathematical Numbers. type of modeling. Exactly. And you tend to see that actuaries are more apparent in insurance. A lot of times it's synonymous actuaries. People think of actuaries, think of insurance industry. Mm -hmm. Because in insurance, you can just imagine the whole business model is based on the likelihood of future claims. Mm -hmm. So the premium you get charged is related to what the future claim likelihood would be. So what are some required skill sets and what do you need to study? So the, in, in terms of academics, uh, I would say the requirement again would be somebody who has a you know, strong interest and desire and they're good in uh, you know, uh, mathematics, uh, specifically applied statistics. I mean, in my profession, I've seen people come from all different types of backgrounds, be it engineering, be it you know, pure math, be it statistics, even financial uh, background. Um, so really it just combines both the financial uh, expertise with the mathematical and it's, it's a great application combining both those skill sets together. Okay. So what is an employment outlook, job security, and the growth um, opportunity for, because I know there's different types of health and insurance, and what is a salary for an actuary? Okay, so like you said, yeah, generally speaking, Traditionally, there's four avenues for actuaries in terms of when it comes to workforce and application. Mm -hmm. uh, actuaries typically end up in property casualty, health insurance, life insurance, or retirement. Mm -hmm. So those are more the traditional avenues. Uh, but more and more you see actuaries even in non-traditional roles as well. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, the outlook is actually very good uh, in terms of the expansion or the growth of the, the career. Uh, it's expected to grow 20 to 22 percent a year for the next five years. Yeah. Uh, so the outlook is great. Uh, there's more and more, and, and you'll notice that more and more colleges now a actually offer actuarial mathematics as a major, and especially even as uh, as coursework, which uh, wasn't the case when I first started 14 years ago. What are some challenges that you face? So the challenges, I would say uh, the biggest challenge in terms of the profession would be in uh, in academia at least or the examination process, which can take up to 10 years after your first examination uh, to complete you know, the fellowship. Uh, it really depends on how fast and what, what pace somebody goes at, but it's, it's definitely a very demanding uh, journey. Uh, but having said that, uh, it's also very rewarding. Uh, you see that there, there's a lot more, it opens a lot, of more, a lot of doors. And one thing to keep in mind as well is that most of the time when you're actually doing those examinations, you are working full time. So unlike something like med school, where you're actually working or, or in school full time for years and years, most people in the actual world are actually working full time and doing examinations while they're, uh, while they're actually employed. Here's the final question is what are some recommendations and motivational um, advice you could give um, any Muslim girls watching from home? to be interested in this field or maybe even end up pursuing this as a career? Yeah, so I would say any girl out there, any Muslim girl out there that has a strong interest in mathematics, uh, and you know, generally a lot of the people that I know, you know, they come from there, they, they tend to be very technical and math is very focused in the, in the curriculum, especially people coming from you know, other parts of the world. I would definitely yeah, yeah. tell them to pursue or at least study. You know, after this video, look into the career. It's just one of many different applications of having that kind of skill set, uh, you know, that, that it's a career that, that's out there, I mean, aside from all the different yeah. ones that we know of, engineering and, you know, computer science, but actuarial uh, math is definitely one of the applications they can actually consider. Um, like I said, you know, potential growth, and we definitely need the diversity, because, you know, like I said, when I first started, there was uh, 
probably majority of the people that went into the actuarial field were male. Uh, that is slowly changing. More and more uh, female are actually taking up this field as it's becoming more of a household profession, you know, name, uh, which is a great thing. So I would definitely recommend more and more women. We could use that diversity in our profession. I would recommend more women to actually look into it after this video, research into it. And if you do have that skill sets and desire to pursue a career in mathematics and financial uh, sort of, a, you know, um, expertise, I would definitely recommend that to young girls. So thank you so much. Um, you were a wonderful guest. We really enjoyed your company. I know me and Zoya learned more about this field and it interested us, interest us so much. So it opened more doors for us for our full-time career. I hope you Muslim girls at home enjoyed this and maybe it gives you more ideas or more options for you to do as a full-time career. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Bye! Bye.